Hello everybody, Washoot here, and welcome back to Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet. Alrighty, so last time we got caught in an ice cave with the little Sundari witch, and then we became friends. And we figured out that we have a crystal ball and we can watch a recording on it, and we're probably going to do that later, but we're going to do it in secret because maybe it's inappropriate. Hey, we're back! It's late. I was starting to get really worried. I'm sorry to have worried you, Master Bastille, but... We are working on a top secret surprise, so we will tell you all about it. Our adventure is finished. A surprise? Okay, then I'll hold off on asking where you've been all day. We'll be downstairs, so don't come in until we've finished working, all right? So the surprise is a special treat. I should have guessed. Just try not to stay up all night. I know how you get when you're working on something big. I don't need to give... I don't need you giving me a bedtime. I'll sleep when it's done. Sarp's enthusiasm for desserts is unmatched. Let us begin our work. Yes. And smash it. What is... They're just gonna smash it with that? Okay. Sarp and Gumdrop retreat to the basement, spending hour after hour preparing the ultimate suite. Finally. All that's left is to let it chill overnight. Wow, that was fun. We did good, Gumdrop. Thanks for all your help. I am glad I could be of assistance. I cannot wait for Master Pastille to try it. Yeah, me too. You stay here and keep an eye on this thing. I'm gonna go pass out. Roger that. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go retreat into the main hall. Do they live here? Is this like the thing in Japan where they have an upstairs that they live in and then a, their shop thing? Now's a good chance to watch whatever's on this thing. Forget it? Why would I forget it? Look into the crystal wall. Let's see what Butterscotch wanted to show me. What? That should be it. Did it work? Are you alive now? Maybe I messed up the spell. Hello, Master. What is your command? Oh, you're working. I did it. Please issue a command. Command prompt. Insert C colon users candy programming. <laughs> right, right. I don't think this through. What's the best way to explain? Okay, I have this friend. She's not very sociable and she has kind of a thing against magic. So it's really hard for her to make friends here. Please issue a command. <laughs> She's like the blinking cursor. <laughs> I wonder if there's programming golems. There's probably a college for that somewhere. Yes, sorry. I guess what I'm asking is, if you could try, even though you're made from magic, you're also candy, so it should be okay, I think. Unable to process, please gauge your command clearly. Oh, I really should have thought this through better. Uh, please try to get along with my friend syrup. Unable to process, please provide instructions on how to get along. Well, first of all, the way you talk is pretty unnatural. Try speaking more casually, you know, be friendly. How is this? Better, keep talking. Um, I still don't understand what you want me to do, Master. It sounds too complicated. What the heck you did? That's not how programming works. I'm sorry. I know golems aren't usually used for things like this, but I didn't have much of a choice. My friends hates talking to magic users. Speaking of what, she absolutely cannot know that I made you. She still thinks I'm just like her and can't use magic. Okay, I will regard. Right now, I think you're doing great. Just keep acting like a regular person and you'll be friends with her in no time. Acting like? Yeah, even though you're made out of candy, it feels like I'm talking to a real human. Just keep being yourself. Beat myself. Yep, consider that to be your main objective. Hopefully it's simple enough. Act human. But I am candy. What? Be myself. Act like a person. I am candy. But act. Whoops, maybe it was too complicated. Oh no, we're programmed! Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I stop. Uh oh. Did I break you? Looks like I messed it up again. This one seems so promising. I probably have better luck getting Psy to talk to other magic users than getting a golem to work right. This is a lot of candy to go to waste, though. I guess I'll take it apart and... But this one actually talked to me. She was sentient. Hey, if I give up now, would it be like I killed you? Ah, I won't give up on you. I won't give up on Syrup either. You're going to be friends somehow, I swear it. Syrup is still awake. It was very lonely down there, so I, uh... What are you holding? Pastille made you. Haha. <laughs> no, you absolutely cannot know that! Why not? 
Master Pastille said, you hate talking to magic users, so you absolutely cannot- No, forget, forget! Okay, okay, I forgot. You really forgot? Yeah. You were made by that rotten witch as an elaborate prank, right? Yes, and not Master Pastille! He had nothing to do with it! I know, it was that witch, not Pastille, that good for nothing wouldn't know the first thing about Magic Golem. Master Pastille is not a good for nothing, but other than that, you are exactly right! Hmm, haha, <laughs> oh man. Serp is laughing? Why? It's just funny. He made you exactly my type. Well, aside from your weirdo personality. He did not make me! You said you forgot. Alright, I forgot. For real this time. But now I'm going to have to thank Butterscotch instead. You are grateful? Yeah, I thought I was only with... It was okay with just having Pastille around, but making a new friend was kind of fun. Friend? Do you mean that at last we are getting along? I think we have been for a while now. Then my task has been complete, and you are only telling me just now? I don't... didn't know it was your task until a bit ago, sorry. Oh, Master Pastille will be so happy to hear of this. We must inform him... inform him right away. Wait. I have a few questions for you about what you are. You were only following your creator's orders and acting friendly towards me, right? Doesn't that mean it's all kind of fake? After you tell him we've been getting along and he says that's enough, that is whatever... This is just over? Uh, would you like to hear the honest answer, Syrup? I don't know. At first I thought you were a very pushy and selfish person. I worked very hard to be friendly as I could, but I think that also makes me pushy and selfish like you. But there are many times you have been kind to me when it did not serve you to do so. You also worked hard for Master Pastille to make the ultimate sweet. I was instructed to act as human, although I am candy. Maybe that means I am not capable of sincere feelings, but you have always treated me well despite that. I would like to prove to you that I can also defy expectations. Gumdrop. Now, I am going to wait by Master Pastille's bedside so that I may tell him the moment he wakes up that we have a cheap getting along. That is creepy! That not okay. Do not stand over me ever sleeping. That is freaky. Don't- I guess you're Candy Golem Terminator, but at the same time, don't do that. No. Don't do that. It's creepy. Thank you! Oh, Syrup and I are right along. Oh, thank you. Understood. To avoid being creepy, I will stand here in the dark until he comes downstairs. The way you put that sounds creepy too. I guess you can't help it though, huh? This is creepy. That is creepy. I just cannot win with you, Syrup. You should go to sleep and not worry about how I pass the time. Now that I think about it, how do you pass the time? Do you talk to the candy? Don't talk to my sweets! Alright, alright, see you in the morning. So, how is it? It's the best thing I've ever tasted! Whoever came up with this recipe wasn't kidding about the ultimate part! I completely agree. I feel sort of battered that Gumdrop doesn't have any taste buds to experience this with. I am just happy to see the two of you enjoying it. I'm happy too. I thought you forgot about your promise to make this for me, Sai. Thank you. Eh, <laughs> don't start getting all sappy over nothing. Gumdrop's the one who reminded me. Serving Master Bastille is the utmost importance. Shh, don't say things like that. You don't have to be nice to me. He's right. If we're too soft on him, he'll stop working so hard. Unacceptable! Now that I think of it, I actually have an errand for you. Take a serving of this to Butterscotch, okay? I promised I'd let her have a taste. How generous of you! I'm happy to fulfill a request so nice. So, Gumdrop, what do you want to do now that your uh, main objective is taken care of? Huh? Master Bustila is not giving me any other orders. I'm not talking about any orders. I mean, what do you want to do with your life? Well, it was only created the other day, so I do not know. What do you think I should do, Syrup? I can't be the one to decide that or else it defeats the entire purpose. I just can't imagine what you'd... Oh, you'd want to stay here and spend all your time working. Hmm, yes, it would be unfortunate if I did not get to see all of the wonderful things in those books from yesterday. But most importantly, I would like to continue to strengthen our bond, Syrup. I think Master Bastille would be pleased by that. Then maybe we could go traveling together? You brought it up before, but actually thinking about it now, we definitely should. But we could not possibly leave the store unattended! Ah, Pastille's better running this place than I ever- or than I could ever be. If I leave instructions for making the candy, I'm sure he'd do just fine on his own. And, 
He could always hire someone in town if he needs help, even another witch if he has to. Considering he's been one all along, I've got no right to complain. No, you're supposed to not know that, remember? Please forget. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I won't mention it anymore. So, what do you say? Want to go on a journey together? Ha, huh, yes. Oh, I would love that. And so, Serp dismissed Gumdrop from her job as shop assistant, and they began traveling the world together, selling candy along the way. Bastille happily kept the store running on his own, and stupid Serp's notes on candy making very closely to ensure... Oh, studied Syrup's notes on candy making very closely to ensure there would be no drop in quality while Syrup was away. Butterscop felt a little lonely with her rival out exploring the world, but at least Toffee was there to keep her company. Gumdrop end! Yay, credits! Story art, nom nom nomi, music, mock off. Special thanks to these people again, made in Ren Pai. Super extra special thanks to all the supporters on the Patreons. And you, thanks for playing. You're welcome. It was fun. So everybody, that is the end to Serp in the Ultimate Suite. I'm sure there are thousands of endings. There are at least nine other ones where you fuck up and the little candy girl dies. But guess what? I'm for the happy endings, not the fucked up ones. So I'm sure there's a guide out there for you if you want to see that. Because that would be a lot of work for me and I'm too lazy and I want to play another game. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.